Hey, it's Charles Young back at you again. Uh, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. Also, you know, follow me on Facebook. You know, I have the links and everything in the description. Um, let's get it in. All right, so today, man, I wanted to talk to you about, um, I want to talk about the Illuminati. Okay, here's, here's, what my, here's my thing. Okay, well, when I first started, my, you know, my journey learning a lot about um, this new information that I was learning, that's where I first started at. I was at church and, you know, we were learning about what the Illuminati is and all these symbols and stuff like that. So we got real heavy into it. I actually uh, had my own radio show at one point in time, and that's what we were most likely discussing. Well, as I got older and started getting into more of this information, I started realizing that a lot of what I thought I knew, I didn't know. And the more information I researched, the more ignorant I was. And I didn't realize is that when we talk about that subject, we only talk about the negative images that we see. When we say Illuminati, the first person that comes up is Jay-Z. We talk about Kanye West. We talk about um, all of these great artists who have a talent who actually practice see the thing about it is is what people don't realize is the illuminati that illuminati mean illuminate that's really what it is it's a light it's a higher light and we we think these people just get successful not realizing that these dudes been doing this for over 10 years you know we don't give people respect where it needs to be due people have been working for 18 years and because they get successful and start getting on TV we already consider them a part of this higher group. Illuminati to me basically is just somebody's higher tax bracket especially for black people. A lot of the time we're only demonizing our own. Why don't we take these stories and encourage kids? You know, these people don't have a, um, great high college degrees and you know what I'm saying and uh, uh, GDs. They don't have any of this but they be turned around and became millionaires. Why does all of ours have to be a part of this secret group? You know, they are a part of a group, a higher group than you, but you spend all your day talking about them. Now, these people got $100 million. If you don't like them and you don't agree with them, why don't you make $100,000? Why don't you make $100 million and see what it comes with and see how people will start calling you and portraying you a part of this uh, Illuminati? I know that dude, uh, Tony Sotomayor, they said he was a part of the Illuminati. Come on, man. He's doing YouTube videos. He doesn't have his own TV show. You know what I'm saying? And think about how many videos these people are doing, how much stuff they've done in the last 10 years, how much work they've put. You're not sitting there when they're doing all this work. So if they're a part of an Illuminati group, wouldn't the Illuminati allow them to be successful without putting forth all this work? Would you think that they would be able to make these deals without having to worry about uh, all the backlash that they're receiving? Um, I don't think a lot of people are even thinking about that. You're just calling them a part of this group and you have no information yourself. Why do you keep, you know, put yourself in their shoes? You know what I'm saying? If they've been working for over 10 years, it doesn't make any sense. Like a lot of the time following this journey as being successful, it only takes one thing to, for us to be successful. Like Money Mike and them, these guys have been doing it, putting in work for over 10 years, man. And they get a movie role and they get successful off of that. Why don't we call Mike Epps a part of the Illuminati? Why don't we call these individuals, Cat Williams, a part of the Illuminati? They're successful. They're millionaires. They make a million. Why does it? Every black individual have to be a part of this. And why does any artist, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I understand the religious aspect. You know, if you're, you're speaking on the basis of religion, keep keep speaking on that. That's keep speaking on your stuff. You know what I'm saying? But you got to realize is that you're going to church every day, giving away all your money to a pastor who could be doing the same thing. He could be part of the same group. He could, he could be supporting the devil that you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? These individuals are changing lives. How many lives have you changed today? You know, one good song from them changes a thousand people's life. What about you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, let's think about it. Before we start talking about these individuals, let's understand that these people had to work for where they at. These people had to actually put forth time and effort and work. They didn't just get there overnight. Ten years. Ten years. You, you, you Now, we can look at certain other people that are getting a spotlight this 15 minutes of fame because of small things that they did now that could be a part of the negative me media that they're producing that they're showing to us they, that's allowing the people to get the heart up from a stupid video you know what i'm saying and i think i think that's what you got to look at to say in some illuminati conspiracy stuff but really i think the illuminati is just the media so when you i'm just saying when we're talking about us a lot of the you know one of my biggest issues is the fact that we keep using this. If we keep calling our own, the kids are watching. Let's let's understand that the kids are watching. So when you say Jay Z's the devil, he 
the only thing he can see is another black man being the devil. If you say Barack Obama's the devil, that's all they can see. Even though they possibly may be in this position, we keep demonizing our own and that's all they're going to do. That When they see you, they're going to see a devil. When they see anybody successful, they're going to see a devil. They're not going to see anybody successful. This is the reason why um, the image of Jesus is white over everywhere. Because why? They don't talk about him in the low end calling him the devil all the time. No. But you talk about your own personal, you talk about your own as devils, you need to encourage them so these kids can see, okay, I could be him. I may not have to go the same path as him. I can be an independent, I can, but I can be him. I can be higher than him. I can be there. I can work that hard. So let's look, let's look at it that way. You know, I'll touch on this a little bit more. If you have some confusion about it, I'll definitely get into it. So I thank you, you know, follow me on openthoughts.com. You know what I'm saying? I have all the stuff in the links below. Um, I just thank you, man. You know, support, support me as I support you, man. So like I always say, just peace.